Stop! What? Did you hear that? What? I could have sworn I heard something. Oh, uh, you're imagining things. I'm bloody not, I... What? <laughs> what was that? I have no idea. Come on, let's go check it out. Uh, no, uh, I, don't, I don't think so. Constable Todd, we've been sent out here to investigate what's happening to all those backpackers that have gone missing. Yeah. There could be some nutcase out here with a knife. Do you really think a flash of light's all that bad by comparison? I've just never been a fan of the supernatural. It's a flash of light, you big wuss. Come on. Oh my god, it's true. Someone's been murdered. <laughs> happened. Renewed again. Do you must be the welcoming committee. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm the professor. Well, this is charming, isn't it? Or is it? Hmm. We're in a forest. That's the trees and stuff. Oh. And it's night. I'm right. It's night? What the hell are you doing out here? People have been... been murdered out here. They have? Really? Should I be finding that interesting? No, you should not. What are you doing out here? Has something happened to you? Happened to me? I couldn't even begin to accurately fill you in on everything that's happened to me. I mean, for starters. Hey, Stings. Look over there. It's another one, isn't it? Looks like you're right, Todd. The neck's been sliced from ear to ear. Oh. Bloody hell, I'll, I'll call it in. Would you like me to help? I can be pretty handy in situations Now where... listen here, lady. What? Do you mean me? There are plenty of questions to answer when we're down at the station. Hands, please. Hands. Oh, hands! What he's trying to say is that you're under arrest. Mm. Oh! Oh! Diligent, sir. A great example for us newbies. Todd, what is it? I haven't had any morning sea yet. Am I going to walk down to the children's playground and be allowed to smoke it? Yes. Well, I was at Wombat Gully National Park last night with Constable Hastings, and we found a woman uh, with a connection to the backpacker murders. And we found another victim. A woman? <laughs> you think a woman is responsible for the disappearance of seven backpackers, four of which are over six foot six? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? God damn this politically correct world. 
Anyway, she was found within 500 metres of the victim and their throat was slashed open. Knife found on her? Not as such, but Hastings is there with forensics, scaling the scene. Look, Todd, I don't know if you're aware of any of the details of these murders, but we are yet to find a murder weapon of any description. Obviously a tidy murderer, sir. Right. Uh, so I'm going to send you down to the YHA, take a photo of this woman with you and see if anyone there has seen her. But, sir, I've just finished a double shift. Look here, Todd. We are very under-resourced here at Wombat Gully Police Department. You can sleep when you're dead. That's always been my motto. Very well, sir. Right, uh, what's this woman's name? Uh, well, she hasn't said as such. What? She just says she goes by the professor. The... Um, have tight butt bring her up here right away, would you, Todd? Yes, sir. What do you reckon, Taylor? Cut and dried? I don't know. Something feels off about this. Something I can't quite put my finger on. Yeah, I know what you mean. This is definitely the work of a real sicko. No, that's not what I mean. We're missing something. Casings. Look at this. The goo. What do you reckon? Congealed blood or something? I don't think so. Uh, this is the first time we're seeing this, right? This wasn't with the other bodies. I don't know about the other bodies. Two of them ended up in the river. Three of them were ripped apart by dingoes. Dingoes? Or wild cats. Dingoes are actually pretty rare around here. Wait, wait, Taylor, what is, what is this? I don't know, some sort of lump? I, I wouldn't touch it. I think we're gonna need to bring this one in, have a full autopsy. Right. Better call it in. Ah, hello there. Sorry, can I ask you a few questions? Uh, hello, uh, who are you? Uh, what do you want? To talk to you. To talk to me? You wish to speak to Jorgen? Yes, uh, I am Constable Todd from the Wombat Gully Police Station. Police Station? Uh, am I in trouble? Oh, no, no, no. We are conducting an investigation into the uh, disappearances of several backpackers in the Wombat Gully area. Oh, my. Did you know that several backpackers had gone missing? Well, I did hear some rumours. And my friend Schwell said he was going to Sydney two days ago, but I haven't heard from him since. You just don't realise how dangerous it is. Unfortunately, I can confirm that the backpackers seem to have been murdered. Oh no! Schwelt? I have no confirmation of any names at this stage. Oh, I hope he's alright. His father and I were lovers. That's... nice? We went to school together. And we were the Swedish Lapland school's curling championship team two years running. Well, we do have someone in custody. You have caught this brutish man? Actually, it's a woman. Um, here's a photo of her. We need to know if anyone has seen her around the hostel. No, no, I, I can't say I've seen this woman. Help! Help! I need help! Uh, thank you, uh, Officer Tightbutt. <laughs> Professor, is... <laughs> That what you call yourself? It's generally what everyone calls me, Detective Inspector Grace, and thank you. I used to know a person who went by the name of the Professor years ago now. Last time I saw him, we were dealing with a nefarious criminal called Peter O'Field. At the end of the whole business, the Professor was nearly dead. He talked. He talked about changing his face. I haven't seen him or Peter O'Field since. Until today. Why should I believe you? Oh, I'm just as likely to believe that you're Peter O'Field. If I was Peter O'Field, you most likely would have found me standing over a pile of bodies and mesmerising people and cackling wildly. <laughs> well, in all fairness, we kind of did. 
Except for the cackling. Oh, Detective Inspector Grace, if you're looking for my help, I'd only be too happy to oblige. Well, firstly, you are our only suspect. Secondly, I've no idea who you really are. And thirdly, every time you've shown up, all hell has broken loose. Seems like you just described some of my best characteristics. Let's get to work. Do you think there are aliens involved? No. No, Professor. This is a simple, clear-cut serial homicide, which I can handle by myself. I'm only too happy to help, and I'm just glad that you accept who I say I am. I don't know that. But what I do know that is as our chief suspect, the only place I'm allowed to keep you is under lock and key. Furthermore... What? They... Found it. Where? And you sure it's fresh? Looks like I don't need to keep you under lock and key anymore. Oh, Detective Inspector, why is that? Oh, I see. Let's get to work then. I knew it was a bad idea to come to Australia. There are so many things that can kill you here, but I never expected to be killed by a serial killer. Well, Miss... Um... Valentina. Right. I was, I was out for a morning stroll. Why did you go out with your backpack on? Because I'm a backpacker. Oh. So... <sighs> there's the guy dead. Oh. So dead. Oh. I, I have to book my flights back home right away. I'm, I'm afraid that won't be possible. You're a witness at the very least and you cannot return home until the Australian police are satisfied you had nothing to do with these murders. What? Oh, oh no! Schwelt! I'm sorry Mr. Jorgen. What's this? So, uh, what is it? It's black goo. Whatever it is, it seems to be growing. Slowly at the minute, but it seems to be doubling its rate every five minutes or so. What does that even mean? Well, eventually, it will encompass the whole Earth. Slowly at first, obviously, it's pretty small. Actually, it'll take about seven months. Which, to my way of thinking, is no time at all. Who are you? Oh, I've been deputised on this case due to its extraterrestrial nature. That's what? Good to see you again, Constable Hastings. You have got to be kidding me. I'm going to need to expand on these tests here, Officer... Taylor. Officer Taylor. But first, the autopsy results. The, the man with the bulge in his arm. What were the findings? I haven't been working the autopsy. I've been working this goop. <laughs> no doubt both are related. I'm going to need to see your reports. Yeah, whatever. very interesting. You know, you could probably power your fleet with this stuff. What do you mean? I haven't found a single biological marker on this. Oh, well, that's an enzyme that's pretty common, wouldn't you say? In fuel? In fuel? What the hell's going on around here, sir? Um, this professor, if it is the professor, has experience in the strange and different Hastings. Also being strange and different herself. But they were a suspect half an hour ago, our only bloody suspect. Until there was another murder while she was locked up. When you reported this strange black goo, I knew we needed the professor on this. She's helped me out in the past. She has? Yes, he has. He what? Oh, never mind, Hastings. Just trust me on this. The Professor is our best chance of sorting this out. If you say so, sir. Right. Oh, 
What do you mean it's burst? Where is what was in it? All over the floor, I expect. What? The bulge has burst. Yeah, there was just a little smattering of goo left on the floor. The growth looked like it was full of pus. Or? Or it might have had something inside it. Like what? Oh, hello. What are you? And what are you doing here? What the, what the devil was that? Ah, uh, Professor, I was speaking with the detective inspector and... Stop that, my foot! That, Taylor, by the way, is what was inside the bulge. Alright, so I've got your details. Hopefully this will only take a few days to clear up and then you'll be free to return home if you wish. This is the worst holiday ever. I will need to contact Schwelch's family. What do I tell them? I'm sure you'll think of something. If you need help, we can provide you with a list of counsellors. Counsellors? Don't be stupid. What good is that? What? What is that? There it goes! going on? What's going on? That thing came out of the arm of the last victim. What's she doing out of Come the cell? On. No time to explain. Come on. <laughs> sure, do you play Pokemon Go? I see. Most interesting. Professor, what exactly is this thing? Watch. Welcome, one and all. This is the sale of a lifetime, truly liquefying. Come to Earth, where the oil never burned so bright. Fragilius Incorporated scoured the galaxies to find the beings they considered to be the most worthless. And we can say without a doubt, it is the human being. By sending our burrowing mini robots to Earth, we will seed each human being, converting their bodily fluids into pure, a-grade oil. It is the purest you will find anywhere. 100 gallons for just 17 galactic credits. Sale begins in seven months time. Place your order now so you don't miss out. Um, what was that? Is this thing suggesting that it's going to be converting us into oil and then selling us off for profit? Well done Hastings, excellent deducing. Capitalism. There are no boundaries. Well, you've got to stop it. Look! <gasps> what do we do? Opening up communication to the Fragelius Corporation. This is the Professor, Time Lord from the planet Gallifrey. Time is up. Earth and its people are not for sale. I don't think that's going to do the trick, Professor. The Fragilius Corporation does not recognize your authority. You are not authorized to speak on the behalf of Earth. And you're not authorized to turn its people into oil! Leave now, or the robots will implant you too. Is that the way it is? Calling all stockholders of the known universe. We're now having a sale on the shares of the Fragelius Corporation. Get them now at a mere half a credit each. Bargains like this will not last. Tell me, keep me up to date with the value of your company. Shares being bought, company value falling. Now 50% of original value. 40%, 30%, 25%. No stock remaining in hands of holders. Value continues to fall. No longer financially viable. Liquidate. 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 And that, as they say, is that. What did you just do here, Professor? I dissolved the company. They can't sell off Earth if they don't exist, can they? I, I guess not. You know, Hastings, there's one reason I don't play the stock markets. Mm. And what's that? I'm too clever. It just wouldn't be fair. Well, that's 
that's all cleared up then. We just explained it to you, sir. Yeah. Well, about that. I didn't understand any of it. But you see, Professor, aliens, that's your bag. You're a smart cookie. If only you'd stick around, you'd be very helpful. See, some of my staff aren't all that bright. S stick around? Yeah, you're always gallivanting off and disappearing and stuff. Am I? Uh, do I do that? I don't know, I just met you. I wonder how I do that. Yeah, well, if you are planning on sticking around, I'm sure I could make you a, an official advisor or something like that, if that interests you. Interests me? Well, why not? Well, for a little while anyway. Actually, I think I'm forgetting something important. Home? Well, yes, that must be it. I need somewhere to stay. Well, there's that flat that's usually reserved for the witness protection scheme. That's free at the moment. Mm, sounds pleasant, but I'm capable of looking after myself. I'm sure you are, Professor. I'm sure you are. You okay to work with the prof from time to time? Fine by me, sir. It's all settled then. Thank you very much, Professor. Detective Inspector Grace, thank you.